Today we're at the Circuit Court for Queens County where we're going to film graduation and learn more about the Court Assistant Recovery and Treatment Program. You know, it's a program that um, you know, was built kind of grassroots, right, and, and you know, where the judge, state attorney, public defender, probation, everybody was on board, had to be on board to really wrap around the individuals that have, you know, years, years, sometimes decades long addiction uh, problems. And so, you know, they wrap around, they realize it's not just uh, drugs and alcohol, there's other issues that they need to address, mental health, transportation, housing, education, employment. And so, you know, they, they built this, this court together from the, from the ground up and it was, uh, you know, it's just a, it's a great resource for this community to have. I want to welcome everybody here for our first graduation of our Court Assisted Recovery and Treatment Program. That deserves a round of applause. <laughs> this is National Recovery Month, which started in 1989. It's a national ob observance held every September to promote and support evidence-based treatment and recovery practices all across the nation. In Queen Anne's County, you all know that it is Queen Anne's County Goes Purple Month, so what a better fitting time to hold our first graduation. I began the journey in developing the Adult Drug Court Program in 2021, a year after I took the bench here in Queen Anne's County. We had our first planning meeting on August 7th, 2022, which was still in the middle of COVID. Everybody came with their masks on. We had to sit across the room from each other and began talking about what we envisioned for Queen Anne's County. After several more planning meetings, we had developed a core group of community partners that were committed to starting a program. By September of 2021, I sat before the Board of County Commissioners, told them of our plans and asked them to, for their support, and they said, go for it. I, I gotta say that, you know- One of your big issues. Yes, yep, yes it is, Moran. and it's, it, you know, a 40% success rate would be outstanding. It really would for what you have to deal with with addiction and, and the opioids. So, you know, anything we can do. You got our support. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yep. To the commissioners, you know, but again, not just there was state funding from my office, from the administrative office of the courts, but also the local funding, which is really important because that, that's really where the ties come in. And, and some of it, you know, you funding from grants for, for this, pro, this service or this thing, but also what people don't think about is, again, the state's attorney's office, for example. So I told Judge Knight my office would actively participate. We would give a prosecutor for the program. It would be here weekly, um, fully invested, working with each per, uh, participant to make sure we monitored them. It's a very uh, onerous program. We expect a lot from the participants much more than typical probation that it will be monitored, but there's a lot of probationers. This program is laser focused on the participants. And today, seeing three of them successfully complete the program was phenomenal. So today, not only do we celebrate the success of our three participants, we celebrate the success of our CART team and working together to provide structure, accountability, and a path to a life of recovery a life without criminal activity, which not only changes our participants' lives for the better, but also our community at large. This is, this is not an easy program, right? I've, I've been part of treatment courts uh, for over 25 years, uh, either as a coordinator, a counselor, a probation officer, and now overseeing these in, uh, for, the, for the judiciary. And I know it's one of the toughest things uh, to ever do. You know, sometimes we feel that you know, especially when we're in the thralls of, of, of addiction, that everybody hates us, everybody's against us. And I think what you all need to take today is that everybody's with you here. Queen Anne's County is very close-knit, and a couple of the participants I've known for a decade or more know their struggles, and I'm very proud and very thrilled that it's working. I want to keep it going. Uh, the bend in the road is not the end of the road unless you fail to make the turn. And we used to, we, we hand that to everybody, and actually it was given to me by my judge when I, when I came to take this job, because it, and it means so much. You know, a lot of times we see that bend, and we're like, oh, this is it, or I, I can't make, I can't do this extra work, or I can't do something. Um, but it, it does mean you can, and you have shown this, that you can 
take that bend, you can do that extra work, and it's not the end, and you keep going, keep going. So I want to congratulate you all, baby included. <laughs> congratulate the families that's here, all the participants that are currently in the program, and all the community members. You know, that is, it's tremendous for a, a, a county this size, you know, to be able to take in and, and just wrap around the individuals and not, not look at them as, you know, as, as criminals or everything we've thought of in the past. That these are, these are our community members here in Queen Anne's County. And so thank everybody for doing that. I appreciate you all.